Hello and welcome my beautiful Libras. This is your general tarot and oracle card forecast for the week of October the 28th to November the 3rd. Keeping in mind not every single card or their, their energy may resonate with every single one of you, but if some of it does, run with it and throw the rest into the universe. Coming in with your download message right off the bat, you've got a beautiful message. Reward for your efforts. Whatever you're concentrating on, whatever you're investing your time into, whatever you're focused on and putting your blood, sweat and tears into this week, you will see that it'll be, it'll be worthwhile. So stay focused, stay in alignment and stay balanced as you work towards a goal this week. Coming in in the beginning, and this came in for someone else too, and I'm not sure, but you've got the fox spirit, and it says thinking on your feet. So this is all about uh, moving forward and realizing that, um, you know, you need to be alert. Uh, and you're not meant to move too fast. You're meant to be able to pay attention to those details, okay? He's very crafty. He looks around at every little angle he can get into that chicken coop and steal a, an egg, right? So draw out your creativity and adjust to rapidly changing circumstances with resilience and grace. So... In one way, you're meant to survey the situation, but in the other, when you find when it's the perfect timing, then go in, okay? Go in for it. Um, uh, this is about, you know, astuteness and thinking on your feet and using your best judgment and keeping your wits to help you slip into more advantageous situations at this time, okay? Now's not the time to hesitate, but w time for a swift action once you've got what it is you need in the, in the, in the form of... Um, your direction that you need to go, then just get into it, okay? Don't be afraid to go after what you want. But this is about thinking on your feet. Not, um, you know, going in swiftly, but being prepared at the same time. Now, with that comes a beautiful card, and this is the Six of Wands, and we know that this is victory after hard work and struggle. You know, getting that attaboy, girl pat on the back for doing something, getting common accommodation or getting commended or getting complimented getting a raise getting an award getting a diploma getting your degree anything like this comes into play and it's almost like public acknowledgement okay so you know like you visualize a graduation and the room's full of all these people and it's almost like public recognition that you're going to be receiving for something that you focused on something that you worked hard on and here come your rewards for that now, coming in in your focus part of the reading, you've got the birds. We know birds are messengers. Uh, there's no two ways about that. But it also re refer to relocation because birds travel. They fly from one location to the other. So you could be thinking about lifting roots, moving your home, uh, relocating to a different district area, whether it's uh, to live or to work. Um, you know, I see that there's going to be some better communication coming in here. And also the fact that you better think twice about something, okay? So turn away when gossip and talking behind someone's back occurs. Don't get involved in it, okay? Stay away from other people's gossip and drama right now. And don't make any decisions too quickly and consider what's really important in, for the long term. And I had set that here with the fox spirit, okay? Be prepared, be wise, think on your feet, be more detailed, and then you can go in. And also look at things from a broader, wider perspective, okay? Because birds fly high, right? And they get this huge overview of, a, of, of the land underneath them. So this is exactly what's required for you right now, to get an overview before you take action. Okay, take a big look at the the uh, the whole picture. Now, with that comes in the hermit, and we know the hermit is indicative of solitude and you know uh, uh, you know um, spending time in solitude and self discovery and you know also you could be leaning into somebody like a mentor, a teacher, somebody who you look up to for some excellent advice, and you're going to follow it. But you're going to take a break from the hectic life. And, you know, it's always this adage, seek and ye shall find. When we go within, we never go without. So ask your guardian angels and your guides for someone who can provide you with wise counsel and loving guidance. And you'll discover a wonderful mentor or a spiritual teacher that could step forward at this time. Or maybe it's time for you to step out into the open as a teacher with many spiritual gifts. So, you know, do un not underestimate the brightness of the light that you have to offer others, okay? He cares carries that light. That's what this is about. If you're currently on a quest for peace and enlightenment, do your seeking within. And meditation right now or a time spent in nature can provide great insight with this situation. 
Coming in in the center position, which could be a challenge, you've got illumination. Something hidden is coming to light. Now you find out about new jo a new job, opportunities and options, someone lends you a helping hand. Now I had just basically said that here. You know, when you're going through self-reflection and, and you're, you're going into, uh, you know, uh, discovering something, self-discovery about yourself, you could be also leaning into someone here as a mentor, teacher, someone who can provide you with some 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 assistance here in helping you uh you know illumination is being able to see light at the end of the tunnel being able to walk in the light and follow it okay so if something was hidden all of a sudden it's going to surface now okay um it's not it's not the moon card um and it's not the the you know the high priestess it's that card that's similar energy that says trust your intuition because something if you're missing something you're going to find it now, coming in next, you've got the beautiful card, the Six of Cups. And the Six of Cups is that card of reconnection, right? Um, it, it's being uh, rekindling maybe an old friendship, an old romance. It's an instant connection with a new friend, perhaps. And, you know, a fond memory. Sometimes this is just nostalgia of family, friends, relationships, and simpler times, you know, that you, you're yearning for the way things maybe used, used to be. So... But it's wonderful to look back and revisit, re revisit these happy situations. But be sure not to idolize the years gone by. Don't lose yourself in that energy so that you can't pull out of it and keep moving forward. You know, old friends and romantic partners or acquaintances may suddenly resurface too. It indicates issues surrounding children or childhood as well. It always shows these young people and children and getting in touch with your own inner child and allowing yourself to have some simple play and have fun in your life. So this may be a good time to resolve old baggage or emotional wounds involving you know parents school years or growing up right now so you could be reconnecting with somebody and you know i always i've been saying this for a while about reconnection when this card shows up because social media seems to be the platform now where we find old friends right or old old relationships and that and they show up on social media and we're able to scope them out and check them out but you might actually be in a conversation and tap into somebody their energy field and get together maybe over a coffee or a cup of tea or out for lunch to reconnect and talk about the old times can be closure for some too now, coming in with our, our messages from Spirit and our guides, you've got a beautiful card. And this card is the four-leaf clover. And we know the four-leaf clover is that card of, you know, happiness and satisfaction and good luck. And it's very rare that we find a four-leaf clover. So to me, this card means something unexpected is going to happen here, which is going to surprise you with good luck okay in some aspect of your life and it's going to excite you so much you're going to want to charge into it charge forward okay uh, you know uh, it's going to create a lot of activity and you could be thinking outside of the box as well and defending what you believe right now so life is going to be moving a lot faster for some of you and the events that may have seemed to be on hold now are going to really suddenly come into focus and require your attention like here i said pay attention to you know think on your feet okay there's not going to be any more sitting around and waiting it's time to get things done so as i say carp dm seize the moment look for creative solutions to challenges and to the challenges that come in and you'll see excellent results although you do need to move quickly don't forget to review the details carefully don't go signing any documents too quickly without being absolutely sure uh you know what you're you're what you're signing because you've heard me say this a million times and i can't say it enough once the ink hits the paper it's a done deal so consumer beware read between the lines and if you can't understand it seek counsel legal advice that can do that for you to guide you through the process coming in at the end of the week could be possible future energy you've got the fish now in this particular deck the fish says um you know the fish has to do with commerce and transactions and trade and opportunities profits and prosperity and expanding business can be lucrative so the fish is always that card i've always said of, of abundance and plenty and and having being able to take something and stretch it and make more out of it right so it's about all of these wonderful things and opportunities and resources coming in almost to the point where it's even excessive you may end up with something more and it could be this unexpected surprise that comes in of good luck uh, now coming in with that you've got the world card and the world card is the end of one cycle and the beginning of another but it brings you clarity and you know it's 
it's it's these, your dreams coming true all right so you could be planning a trip you might be wanting to get out in nature more there's a feeling of joy and completion when you get this card and spiritual enlightenment and you're beginning something new and exciting now it's the end of one cycle as i said and it's the beginning of a new one so take time to enjoy this wonderful happiness that's coming into you my beautiful libras now, coming in next, let's see what we have here for clarifiers. What do you need to see, know, and expect here in addition to these cards? So let's see what we have here. We'll shuffle again. All right. Let's see. So <clears throat> it's really good energy here. You're focusing on a situation here. Um, you know, you're starting a new cycle. You're getting excited about things. You're going to see light at the end of the tunnel. You, you know, you're here receiving messages that are coming in here to help you. And you're going to see the rewards come in for it. Coming in with that Six of Wands, you've got the Ace of Cups. And the Ace of Cups is that ultimate love card where the universe shines down on you, Libra, and, and sends you what you need and, and, and lets you know that you're loved by all this abundance and luck coming in. But it can also be a very new uh, budding relationship that could be romantic and or you could be rekindling. Maybe you're spending more time with the one you love and you're able to rejuvenate that. Coming in with the Hermit and focusing you've got the five of cups now the five of cups is that card of crying over spilt milk okay thinking of the past um you know with part possibly remorse and possibly regret and you know um but it, this card says lift your chin because the universe says you're only doting on the losses here you're not thinking beyond okay beyond to know that there are more cups here to fill as they say there's more fish in the sea okay so and it's ironic that you got the fish so keep your chin up because you're you're going to discover with the hermit underneath that and the message is coming in things are going to pick up coming in with the six of cups you have the five of pentacles two five side by side challenges but the resources to resolve them so the one here is keep moving forward let go of the past okay don't dote on it because if you do, it'll grow on you. And the Five of Pentacles is lack, loss, bankruptcy, feeling out in the cold of orphaned, abandoned, all those things. But here he is leaning into someone he knows he can trust, a soft place to land, someone who's there to give him comfort, consolation, and help. So what that means is don't internalize and take on all the problems by yourself. You don't deserve to carry the burden alone. Go through those doors, make those phone calls, lean into those people and those resources that can help you resolve these issues. Because that's what this card's about. It's about the challenges, but finding the resources and, and to resolve those challenges. Coming in with that Knight of Swords and that really good luck card, you've got the Page of Cups. Now the Page of Cups, you had love here. The Page of Cups could be a letter, a gift, a card, a call, a text. A phone you know someone's going to come in and say hey i want to take this relationship to the next level and that might be the surprise they're in that you receive and it's sudden to you maybe with you know they all of a sudden blurt it out and say hey i think you're hot i love I, I would really like to take this further and you may be surprised but this person comes in with something new and useful and up-to-date and modern okay they may look younger act younger or maybe even be younger there than you so you know what this is something that could be very exciting and fulfilling comes with that gift coming in at the end of the week with that beautiful card the world and the fish you get another tremendous card and this is the ten of pentacles now the ten of pentacles is pretty much it's not the happy ever after with the cups and the love and all of that but it is security and feeling very firm and secure and happy and wholesome within a family unit your soul pot your tribe um and your children and but it's also being surrounded here by protection uh, with the coat of arms and the flag here with the pentacles on it. And that means you're going to have enough. Your finances are going to be stable as well. Whew. Well, my beautiful Libras, this is your reading for this week. And I wish you a great remainder to today and a beautiful, optimistic, healthy, happy, prosperous, and successful week. And always know I stand in this circle of love and light for you. And I'll see you soon, my beautiful, beautiful Libras.